Are there any questions? I call the Honourable the Leader of the Opposition. Uh, thanks, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Prime Minister. Given that one third of parliamentary colleagues and a quarter of cabinet colleagues have expressed their lack of confidence in him today, how can he claim to have a mandate to continue as Prime Minister? I call the Honourable the Prime Minister. Well, I can understand, Madam Speaker, while the uh, I can, I, can, I can understand why the Leader of the Opposition doesn't want to remember the election. It would be something that he would rather forget, Madam Speaker, but uh, uh, this, well, this Prime Minister the question's been asked. and this government uh, did win an election, uh, and that is the mandate that we are carrying out. <laughs> that the Prime Minister explained to the House how the extraordinary public revel revelations of dysfunction, division and chaos at the centre of this government over the last 18 months will end with today's bloodletting, because it is absolutely crystal clear to the Australian people that we have a divided, dishonest and incompetent government. And today, Mr Speaker, one third of the caucus and one quarter of the cabinet agreed with the coalition's assessment of this government. The Australian people have been embarrassed by the spectacle of this Prime Minister, humiliated by the spectacle of a once great political party tearing itself to pieces. But, Mr Speaker, things will improve. And you know how they'll improve? They'll improve with an election. That's how they'll improve, Mr Speaker. The, time now, is the question is that the suspension motion be agreed to. I call the Honourable the Prime Minister. Well, Madam Speaker, I'll say, I'll say this, Madam Speaker. Sure, um, this government hasn't got everything right. Sure, this government doesn't pretend to be perfect. The Leader of the Opposition, uh, you'd think, uh, with a motion of no confidence uh, in the Prime Minister of our country, would have been prepared to stand up with a serious critique. What we saw uh, from this Leader of the Opposition was the kind of cheap sneer and smear which proves that the Liberal Party has not learned any lessons. It's a betrayal uh, of the kind of decent leaders that members opposite have had in the past who actually believed in our country. Who actually believed in our country. The, the Leader of the Opposition was asked what his solutions were. And all he could say were a whole lot of things that he wouldn't do. Well, Madam Speaker, we are prepared to do things. All members opposite have is one long, loud complaint. No answers, just a complaint.